The garage is built, but the project's not done yet. Yep. In fact, there's still a lot to do. Up next, electrical. <laughs> <laughs> so, take it away. Okay, well, the, the box, oops, the, um, not me, it's not really main breaker, but the uh, sub panel will go here and everything is going to get routed from the main house and through here. And we've got outlets and switches and outlets and switches and exterior outlets and plugs and things. Lots of things. Yep. So you are not a certified electrician, but you have a friend who is. And I'm a YouTube University uh, graduate. Yeah, so disclaimer, don't, don't try to do anything that we're doing. Don't rely on it. <laughs> but we think we're gonna get it right. And it is all gonna be inspected twice. So this is not an off-grid, you know, rinky-dink, whatever. We're, we're gonna do it right, but yep. we're gonna try and do it. And by we, I mean you and, and our electrician, electrician friend. My licensed electrician friend. Yes. So stay tuned because it should be interesting to see how things take shape on the electrical realm. Yep. Okay, so there has been some progress here though. You had your electrical consult mm -hmm. and that was very fruitful. Very much. So what happened during your consultation? Well, I told him how I wanted it, what I wanted and he said, this is how you do it. And he did it with Electrical tape. Using that tape was a brilliant idea. Each one, each color represents a breaker circuit. Nice. So okay, so actually, behind you is that's the breaker, the sub panel. This is not the um, main panel. This will be the sub. The main panel will be in the, in house. the main house. This is a sub panel. Yes. Okay. Continue. So he's got uh, lines marked. So each, so you can see there's two tapes here because that means I've got two lines that have to come over here and another one over here um, for different things. <laughs> cool, okay. And then that one down there is blue. Yep. And that indicates to follow the other blue lines. Yep. That will be that this one's red, and this one's blue, and this one's white, and this one's white, and that one's yellow. <laughs> so each color then will have its own line of wiring. And those represent switches and plugs, mostly, right? Um, each little where, piece of tape. The, where the plug is going to go and the color indicates which line it's going to go on, which breaker. Talking amps and volts and all that stuff will uh, make me fall asleep, so we're gonna skip all that. But as a general, just in general, we are gonna have one 20 amp line for the harvest right. Dedicated. A dedicated one. Two 50 amp lines. One for an electric vehicle and one for an RV plug-in. Yep. And then, what else? Uh, general 20 amp breakers for plugs, walls, bathroom, that kind of thing, lights. Okay, so like nine or, nine or so Something like lines. that, be 10, 10 or 11 actually, but yeah. This is really interesting. Someone's happy. I'm done. Relieved. Yeah. The electric work is complete. Well, it's ready for the rough in. Ready for the rough in, which is tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so you have done a ton of work. Yes. You want to give us a, a quick tour, just an overview of, of what, what it ends up looking like? Okay. Well, <clears throat> it all starts with the in from the house. That'd be this pipe. It's gonna come up into here. The reason it's coming into a box is because we also have the generator 
that's going to come not through the panel but back down into the house. So there's this box for that. So the in comes up and into the sub panel and we have our lovely breakers for all of the lines. So what is on the left wall? Left wall inside is this plug, these two plugs, these two plugs, and on a separate breaker, and a, and a dedicated breaker, is this single plug, which will be for our harvest, right? And then on another dedicated, well not dedicated, but separate breaker, is this one, because it has to be within, they have to have a plug within three feet of a sink, and that's where a sink will be. The back wall. Back wall only has a, a handful of uh, plugs, uh, individual one, 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 and uh, two over there. Okay, and then also, not necessarily the back wall, but there will be separate wiring for the bathroom, the future bathroom, right? Yes, so there is this, which actually I didn't code, color code, um, this is a dedicated for the bathroom lights and fan, and this one will be for the, the plugs for the bathroom. We're gonna have a bathroom. I can't wait. <laughs> the right wall. Right wall has two plug, two plug, two plug, two plug, and on the opposite side, on the same breaker as on the the left side. Uh, the outside plugs are right here. They're on a, they're on any any plug, any outside plug has to be on one breaker or not one breaker, but a separate breaker from everything else. So these I've got uh, two outside plugs over here and four plugs over there. They're all on a dedicated so in one there. <laughs> and again. Consult your local uh, qualified licensed electrician. Not qualified. <laughs> What's that funky stuff looking in the back? This is where the generator will be outside. So we'll have a line, a two inch tube coming up like that, going up and over and then around and things and getting to that lower box. Mm, that generators our backup power in the event that our solar fails for whatever reason or is insufficient? Fails or insufficient, which as of right now, with no insulation and that kind of thing, we're running the generator four or five times a year, and that's it. Summertime, there's never a problem, um, but wintertime we have. Don't know what it's like going to be like in the house. We'll have a ton of insulation, but we'll also have a ton more power from being used. So. Yep. Don't know. It'll be good to have a backup. Yep. Okay, what's up with the front? Front wall has everything on this wall. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, these two lights on the on the sides are on a separate breaker from the other outside lights, but they're on the same breaker as this plug and this plug, and that's. All for that breaker. Plus, what about the inside lights? The inside lights are on their own, well, they're on the same breaker as the outside lights too, as well as that plug up there. All right, because we're going to have an automated garage door, so we need a plug up there to plug that in. Yeah. What are these? This guy is for our EV charger which we hope to have, maybe at some point. Yes. And that is, so this is on 50 amp breaker, and, uh, dedicated. And this mumbo jumbo over here is also another 50 amp breaker dedicated to an RV plug on the outside. Let's go outside and look. Okay. Well, that looks fancy. Yeah. So you have to have a emergency shut off from the outside so that's what this guy does and this will be for the uh, 50 amp box dedicated box and you also have to have a 120 amp plug uh any that's next to an rv plug cool 
What is that stuff? This is the grounds that go from the, the sub panel to here. You have to have two ground rods that are five feet apart, uh, tied continuously with four, number four, AWG cable. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, I was done with these are ground rods. <laughs> I see boxes underneath our lean-to. Yes, uh, this would be either a light or a motion light. Uh, these are the two optic side lights that uh, would just be switched on or off. And two outside double box uh, for, we'll have, I believe at some point, a countertops, be kind of like an outside kitchen sort of thing. And uh, on the opposite side of the sink that's in there, we'll have another sink out here. And it's pretty much the same on the other green two on the other side. Sort of. There's no double box and there won't be a counter. <laughs> but there are lights. There are lights and <laughs> uh, two single plugs. Think we're gonna pass tomorrow? I hope so. Yeah. I, I hope so, I think so. Unless there's some weird code thing that Nobody told me. Yeah, but in any event, I'm glad that the uh, inspector is going to come out and he'll make sure that everything is proper and we'll go from there. Yep, I'm, I'm confident that uh, the information I was given is valid, so I think we'll be good. Can't wait to see him come tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Baby Freddy. The inspector was here and he just left. So, what's the verdict? I passed! You got the sticker! I got my sticker for my roughing. Hooray! I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Thanks. With all the work that you've done on this so far. It's, uh, it's impressive. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it worked. So, yay! Yay! That means that... We're ready for your spray foam. Yeah, we've got that scheduled. Hopefully they will be coming next week. Yep. And that means nothing is stopping them from moving forward. Nope. Progress! Yes. It's a big day. Well done. Thanks. That concludes this episode. Here was a big one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Um, next you want to hear want to hear a side story? Oh, so about, by Michelle about pigtails. Yeah, you got to talk about your, your spider. Mm -hmm. So when I was a kid and I had pigtails, my dad used to pick me up. I used to have two pigtails one on each side, and my dad used to pick me up by them and take me all the way up to the ceiling. It was so fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. I don't know where to go from there. While well, I've been busy digging up potatoes, what have That's you been doing up? Stick them in a stew. What? Potatoes. What? Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Say it again. Mash them, boil them, stick them in a stew. Mm -hmm. Or is it? I think that's the. We'll check. Yeah. <laughs> Different switches, though. That's a three way. These are single. Ooh, three ways. Mm hmm. Now get your head out of the gutter.